I was reading taxation the other day and I just thought if the government wanted to increase the tax revenue, why can't they just increase the tax rate? I mean, that way they can generate more tax revenue by increasing the tax rate. And that's when I got to know about the concept of Laffer Curve. And I knew that government cannot go on and on and on and increase the tax rate. Hello and welcome to Ecoholics. By now, you all know what we will be discussing today. We'll be discussing the concept of Laffer Curve. So, who gave the Laffer Curve basically? Uh, the Laffer Curve was formalized by the supply side economist Arthur Laffer. So, you need to remember the name. It was Arthur Laffer. It describes the relationship between tax rate. It does what? It describes the relationship between tax rates and the total tax revenue. So, relationship between tax rate and total tax revenue with an optimal tax rate that maximizes the total government's tax revenue. This is very confusing, but it is not. Let's draw the curve and then you'll be able to understand it more nicer. So we have tax rate on the y axis and we have tax revenue on the x axis. Now, what does the Laffer curve actually says? So you all know when we increase the tax rate, when we increase the tax rate, the tax revenue also rises. But you cannot go on and on and on and increase the tax rate because after a point, after a point, the people, the tax revenue, you'll see that it eventually starts to fall down. And that basically happens due to three reasons. But first, let's draw the curve. So when your tax rate is zero, obviously the tax revenue will be zero. So if it goes on increasing. So now let's increase the tax rate. So you can see the tax revenue is also rising, but it is only rising till a point. Okay, let's say it is this point. So it is rising till a point which Laffer says it's an efficient point. So it rises, it is rising, the tax revenue is rising. But if you increase the tax rate beyond this point, if you increase the tax rate beyond this point, the tax revenue, it eventually starts to fall down. Okay, this is what is known as the efficient tax rate according to Laffer. Okay, increase in tax rate will increase revenue only up to a point E star and E star is this. Okay, you can see the tax rate is rising. The tax revenue is also rising, but it is not, not rising that much. Okay, this with comparison to this, you can see it is rising very less. So after this point, it starts to fall down. So the revenue starts to fall down because of three reasons. People get disincentivized. People basically, there is no incentive left for them to work because the more hard work they will do, the more uh, due to high tax rate, the government is going to tax that hard work, that dedication, that profit the people will earn because it's high tax rate and the more they'll work hard, the more they'll earn and all that revenue will be taxed away. So people will start substituting leisure. Okay, They would not want to work because the more they work, the more amount will be taxed away. So the first reason is it disincentivizes people to work. Second reason is immigration. Now let's take two countries. In our country, the tax rate is high. So the high skilled people, they, they'll do what? They'll, they'll try to migrate to other countries, okay? Where the tax rate is low because they're not getting as high tax rate as it is in our country. So people are high skilled labels, are entrepreneurs will go there. So, so this is the reason why tax revenue is also falling down. So second reason is your immigration. Third reason is tax evasion or tax avoidance. Both these terms are whole another concept, but you just need to understand that tax evasion and tax avoidance. Both these terms, they lead to falling in your tax revenue. Okay, tax evasion is basically illegal. It's illegal because you do not tell your uh, the amount you are earning, the actual income that you have. That is known as tax evasion. Tax avoidance is whereas a legal thing where you find loopholes in the system for not paying tax rates, okay? So that is the meaning of tax evasion and tax avoidance. You just need to know that both these things lead to lowering of the tax revenue. So this is what the meaning of Laffer Curve is. 
I hope the laugh curve is clear to all of you. It is basically the relationship between tax rate and tax revenue beyond a point. Beyond a point, you, the government cannot go on and increase the tax rate because it will disincentivize people to work. And these are the three reasons why higher tax rate will not yield a uh, higher tax revenue. I hope the concept is clear to all of you. I'll see you next time. Until then, please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel Ecoholics. Thank you.